Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Gemini for the week of January 15th, 2023, 2024. Ah. So I got back my camera to work kind of sort of. I can't like show my cards. I can. I'm just going to show them like up here like that um, because and I'm going to have to get a new camera anyways because she started pausing. So it is what it is. Anyways, show your love and support to your girl Marie. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for everyone who has. So this week, my gems, we're still dealing with the same energies from last week, so you can check out last week's as well. Um, but we have a kite energy happening with Saturn. We have Jupiter forming a kite energy as well, and it's well aspected too. So this is a great time to receive, like, you making progress around your debt, setting career goals. This could be getting a job at this time. This could be plans working out exactly as planned this could be a beautiful energy time for money or if you're dealing with court and out of court settlements this could be a good time for that this could be getting your irs check this week with this energy as well so this is a beautiful time for getting a job um for some of you here you could be more attracted to spirituality and occult disciplines with this energy a great time for making for writers for important research or discovery or you could be playing detective, so if you are a real detective, a great energy time for you to make some headway and some leads. Um, this is a time when you're likely to reevaluate the importance of some relationships and how involvement in groups is affecting your direction in life. Often you can find there, that your list of friends are shrinking now because North Node and South Node at this time. So you could be dealing with that. So this could be whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. And this is just clearing the way for relationships that are more suitable to your goals. Heavy responsibilities can mark the turning point of your career. You may find you have more responsibilities than you can handle, which could lead to others accusing you of negligence or incompetence. You may decide that a change of employment is needed. Your beliefs are likely to change profoundly at this time, or your opinion of others is likely to change very quickly. Your goal or your life purpose are likely to change significantly now you may have a renewed sense of identity or you have just finally figured out who you are as a person and you could be making changes from there you will probably want to prove yourself and work very hard to get ahead you may find that you want more power or authority you're ambitious you often take on more than your share then frustration causes deep-rooted obsessional tendencies others often resent it when you rem remind them of their duties you're a perfectionist if you don't have a cause to fight for. You often indulge in sexual excess. Yay! You're natural in politics and investments and like careers where you put you're put in charge of many people. At times your behavior patterns are unpredictable. You let your personal you let your spouse dominate and use you and you must learn your self-worth or you allow other people in your family to use you as well. So you have to realize your self-worth. Then on the 16th, you can be given something sentimental or you could be purchasing a new phone or purchasing something that is going to be deeply important to you, like a car. Um, a marriage relationship might end now for some of you, not all of you, because of inequality, manipulation, betrayal, infidelity. Um, for some of you here, this could be power struggles happening with relationships at this time, or you could find that you... Um, you could find that you are the one that's doing more in the relationship than your partner is. So there's this imbalance in the, going on. So you could be leaving this relationship for some of you, not all of you. So if you would like a reading with me based on that, check it out in the link in the description box below. Um, this could be just a friendship or a relationship. The family members or even relationships with your parents, you could find it very unequal and very one-sided and a lot of responsibilities are put on you. So you could feel the weight of that relationship. Your relationships may be plagued with drama and insecurities you may have to work hard to find the right balance between trusting people in your life and surrendering some level of control and also feeling secure and empowered personally relationships become more fluid and exciting existing partnership arrangements may be simplified or offer greater convenience for some of you you could be in an open relationship you could be separated and you could be talking and seeing other people at this time with this energy um, greater freedom may be desired in your marriage on the 17th i feel like for some of you love could be complicated at this time i feel like either your partner is going through it emotionally at this time with this energy and they may not be willing to communicate or talk to you about their feelings at this time for some of you for others of you 
This could be a situation where they're creating boundaries with you on what you can and cannot do at this time. Someone in your life that you live with is going through it at this time and will not be able to help you out financially either. Or it's going to be a situation here where you're in its, its complicated relationship, but it works for you. So I'm not judging. You could find that your partner may be unreliable or that for you, as you would like them to be emotionally there for you, and they're not. So they're not picking up the phone, they're not answering their text messages, they're not being emotionally available for you when you need them to be emotionally available for you. So this could be a situation here this week where you know you need to be careful with your car, you need to be careful with like breaking down in your car, and it could be like a busted tire or a belt, and then like whatever happens, they're not there for you. Or you're having like a shitty day and you want to vent and complain, and they're not there to like sit there and listen to you, and you're like, what the hell? You you know and and then on top of that they're getting annoyed with you because you're not there for them you know so it's like this back and forth thing between you two so that could be going on at this time or you could be in some kind of crisis situation and they're not there to help you and you could be feeling very annoyed and frustrated with this relationship and it's not the first nor the second time that and so you could be very like you know oh my gosh this person could also be causing you financial hardships with this energy you may have to do everything right now they may not have a job Job. You could be financially supporting them, which could be causing a strain on your finances. This person could also be traveling or away or doesn't live as close to you as you would like them to because your career or their career, you are not very straightforward and honest with the, with the conversations or you tend to have... Um, or you tend to have to dilute a lot of what you're saying to avoid confrontation with this person. So this is somebody that you really, really cannot be yourself with, with this energy for some of you that you have to bend over backwards to with this energy and that you're doing all the work in the relationship. Even though you got what you wanted, it's still like super one-sided, okay? You could be obsessed with this person as well, so that's why you tolerate a lot of stuff with this energy. Be careful what you obligate yourself to at this time. It could put you in debt or it could be affected affecting you in some kind of sense or affecting your career in some kind of way. This is not the best time to make career decisions. If you're going to do it and it's something important or like you're in a media or social media, I would lawyer up at this time with this energy or I would get um, advice at this time. It may have a higher cost than what you expected. I feel like for some of you here, you have an easier time with getting to the bottom of things this week or you could be starting to see new trends and jumping on to new trends that you see online. For some of you, this is working smarter, not harder. For others of you, you could be starting new trends at work that other people are going to follow at this time. So those of you in sales, that could be very dangerous so be careful of that um, for those of you this is a great time for therapy or you're being a therapist this could be um, healing or you know or um, you know what people want at this time with this energy and you know what they want and need at this time so you oblige them on the 18th you may feel socially out of step or isolated it seems hard to make a real connection with other people and not sound phony this is just temporary phase and it'll pass quickly you could be starting a new job on the 18th with this energy here so that's why you have a very difficult time like meshing with the group at this time but once you figure out the group and the social hierarchy of things you won't have a problem with that plus there's a stellum in capricorn so i give it till the 20th of january and when the sun goes into aquarius um and pluto goes into aquarius on the 20th which i talk about in the monthly horoscopes i feel like then you will um kind of start getting along with the group so when that happens you know for right now it's kind of like socially awkward time but then everything will be fine okay so don't worry about it you know you're in a new situation with new people and they're all getting to know you and you're trying to figure them out so you can be very much the wallflower on the 18th with this energy here um whatever you do at this time and whatever gossip that you hear with this energy or if another co-worker is telling you things and that the manager I wouldn't go believing them at this time I feel like uh, for some of you here especially those of you who are young and teenagers you know people could be de deceiving you at this time or telling you things that are not true somebody could be baiting you in conversation just to have a fight with you so just be careful with that at this time don't believe everything that you hear with this energy here I feel also this week um, certain things may no longer apply in your life anymore certain belief systems could be breaking down at this time certain things are going to be messy or messing with your security, emotional security with this energy, leaving you worried. So this could be like quitting your job. This could be like your financial situation here. 
um, could be changing. This could be dealing with like social services, you know, that could be happening. This could be working on saving your money at this time because you could find yourself dealing with like not exactly financial hardship, but you're definitely not going to be able to buy luxury items or entertainment stuff for a while. Relationships could be on rocky ground for you, not all of you. This could be this could lead to separation or breakup with this energy. You could be using this time to get lit more or delve into your addiction ten tendencies, or you could be more about your fantasy life at this time with this energy because you want to step out of your responsibilities for a while. So this is not the best energy time for some of you this week. Something is going to go down this week that is going to make you want to escape your reality a little bit more so this could be just like a bunch of responsibilities you know and being told what to do and being bossed around at this time and not having any rest to be by yourself <clears throat> also there's a time of long-term problems that you've been putting off putting off putting off now can reach like a moot point so if you haven't been paying like your car note your car ticket or bills at this time and just kind of putting them off putting them off putting off or dealing with like you know not paying your rent and stuff then things can reach a point of frustration and uncertainty the next stage is struggle where hard work and patience is required the third stage where all the hard work and determination pays off there could be an increased wealth travel and further education is possible on friday the sun is conjunct with Pluto this week in the eighth house. Serious matters are going to be more of the focus. The issues with father could be coming up or the men in your life could be more of the focus. This could be dealing with husband at this time and husband can be the focus. For some of you here, this is dealing with estate issues, housing issues, but also this week we are taking care of business, our personal business, our personal responsibilities and closing up certain chapters or debts in our lives with this energy. Um, the sun is conjunct with Pluto for right now in Capricorn with this energy at 29 degrees. So this could be a purging happening for some of you here. Certain things or dealing with health issues may no longer apply in your life. This could be like real changes happening this week. Um, there is a likelihood of an acquaintance smothering you or invading your personal space. Friendships may lack e um, equality or deepen in importance your romances are usually karmic or predestined okay so it's, the karmic part is not a bad thing it just means that you were in a relationship with this person in the past and you know you have a soul contract with this person so don't be scared about the new people coming into your life because everything happens for a reason for some of you this could be secret lovers sexual passions may be so overwhelming they're difficult to control or properly direct psychological inhibitions may also prevent positive expression of sexuality you make many demands on your partner and vice versa you're always looking for the ideal love or career you must learn to compromise you must learn to find freedom in these areas of your life of love and career you can be very inspired and creative financial problems are due to risky over over investments for some of you this is a lot of lessons in regards to controlling other people I feel that at this time the focus for some of you here is going to be focusing on your personal affairs and dealing with your own emotional problems and letting go of control in regards to other people with this energy so this could be in regards to like either family members um, you not wanting to emotionally connect and be open with this energy when it comes to love relationships and kind of like giving them just a little bit or just enough or this could be like dealing with like a boyfriend or girlfriend situation or a live-in relationship and you two are like broken up but yet you still want to control their situation even though she okay she broke up with you you still want to control their relationship their situation at this time okay you could be using money as a factor to control the situation here as well you guys could be like in a like a live-in relationship where you guys are like co-parenting in the same house and stuff like that but you guys are separated but then you know when it comes to this when it comes to like your love life and stuff like that you're still like keeping them there in intrigue you know um so it could be like stuff like that going on so there could be like real levels of different emotional manipulation going on um with this energy um emotional changes that you need to make at this time here so wherever challenges are are there in dealing with other people one they could be karmic because they're dealing sun conjunct with pluto in the eighth house okay or telling other people what to do and that could be a challenge that you need to overcome or go with the flow or just let go of control and let this person do what they're going to do at this time with this energy for some of you this could be dealing with mental health issues so this is a great time to make ego smaller with this energy this is a great time to work on yourself prioritize your health at this time with this energy okay 
The first card I come up with is the Sun card. I feel like this is a great time for you to stand out with this energy and be seen. All eyes are on you this week, for better or for worse. There could be some drama for some of you, not all of you, especially where love is concerned. For some of you, this could be you being exposed, okay? Because we're dealing with Sun conjunct Pluto in the 8th house, and it's getting ready to go into truth revealing ninth house. Okay, so this could be a lot of things exposed, a lot of the, your truth being exposed at this time with this energy here. So you can be felt feeling vulnerable. The Ace of Cups, emotional validation, good news coming your way. You could be calling a situation before it happens. For some of you, you could be jaded by love this week with this energy. And so be open to new love. Okay, be open because this is a time of soulmates with this energy here as well. So be open um, to love. I you're giving so much power and so much mental blockage because you got a divorce and this person really affected you, you know, and now you don't want to marry because you're assuming that everybody's going to be like that person. Not the damn true. Okay. We all different. You just got to kiss the frogs and find your prince or princess, okay? The seven of wands, I feel like certain things can be a process for you this week with this energy. This could be good news in court at this time. As I connect with this energy, I feel like you could be reevaluating your relationships during this time period as well. The eight of coins, you could be throwing yourself into something new. You could be excited about starting a new job. For others of you, this could be going back to school this week, and you could be excited about that and throwing yourself into into your schooling because your routine is changing so you're loving it um, because you've been bored all week at the house for a Christmas vacation and now for some of you you're coming back to school so now you're very excited about it it was a much needed vacation okay the queen of coins the focus is on mother with this energy or an earth sign in your life as well could be more the focus with this person this person I feel like has grounding energy as I connect with the energies and I feel like this person is more um, like a supporter and could be helping you take care of certain responsibilities in your life okay you could this could be mother that you could be dealing with as well the two of coins burning the candles at both ends of the stick at this time for some of you this could be an emotionally confusing time for you and you could be very indecisive with this energy in regards to what you want to do the four of swords this could be I don't know why but as I connect I'm hearing equal parts this and an equal parts that it's like uh 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 to make you emotionally balanced or it's like part of your journey very weird the four of swords this is a great time for meditation contemplation so you're very indecisive at this time so you're really like sitting on your hands about certain things that you want to do you don't know how to feel about certain situations going on in your life at this time so you could also be more of an observer with this energy and just kind of watching a situation and not really doing something about it you could also be dealing with certain trust issues at this time and again this could be with 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 relationships the hierophant card i feel like prayers are going to be answered this week as well with this energy for some of you, you could be um standing up for the underdog in your life or standing up for certain things that are no longer happening with this energy you could be taking things to hr whatever is bo is bothering you i do see a traditional relationship going on for some of you so this is a great time to focus on your marriage with this energy as well for some of you not all of you i know some of you are like having like real relationship problems but this could be like a new relationship coming in even though you feel jaded you know love can happen Pluto's about ready to go into your ninth house, so this person is going to be from a different country or something like that, or this could be the one, okay? The six of wands is an optimistic energy time. This is a great time for moving forward with this energy and looking forward to the future with this energy as well. The justice card, major decisions are coming up. For some of you, you're not on speaking terms with certain family members. For others of you, court is going to be happening for a long time, so make sure that you're not wasting your money and that there's a light at the end of the actual tunnel, okay? So you're not just throwing money i do see for some of you um working on contracts court litig litigation um this could be working contracts could be in your favor as well the nine of swords get the hell out of your damn head it's not the place to be you could be feeling lonely 
at this time with this energy the six of cups you can be sentimental about the past i feel like you tend to make it a point to get along with everybody with this energy and play nice with everybody for some of you this could be you being gifted musically for others of you this could be a great time for dealing with your kids for others of you this could be having kids this could be settling down this could be moving in with your partner for some of you not all of you with this energy for some of you this could be getting married with this energy so mazel to that for some of you this could be turning a hobby into a business at this time okay the nine of coins i see get rich quick schemes i see fortune bringing about healing energy um but i see money worries okay i see more responsibilities coming to you at this time with this energy here so this could be more responsibilities at work this could be getting a job at this time with this energy but for some of you here you're delving into lack consciousness so just be aware of that have faith i feel like you may have some important decisions to make and there's no going back on your decisions when once, once you do it okay so know that i feel like you could be delving into self-pity at this time so try to stay out of your head because it's not the place to be with this energy as well so this may not be emotionally the easiest time for you this is going to be a busy time period for you so you some of you don't like that kind of stuff where it's like busy 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 all the time with work so you could be um feeling burnt out because you guys get burnt out very easily you don't like to be told what to do so this could be like a really stressful time when it comes to career for some of you so some of you you're not happy when it comes to career with this energy for others of you this could be making repairs on the home at this time with this energy or this could be making car repairs and i talked about that on the on the astrology so be careful with that with this energy here okay so for some of you you could expect problems with transportation this week the empress card i feel with this energy here you benefit through the women in your life for others of you this could be buyer's remorse with this energy so be careful with your spending this week if you can because you're going to need it to make repairs for it for something um that is coming up okay the um, Two of Swords, I feel like you're not making a decision as a way to manipulate a situation. You can be more quiet into yourself this week, and this could be like work at home, work at home, but when you spot, when you talk, everybody listens with this energy, so you may not be on speaking terms with the women in your life or certain family members at this time with this energy. The Eight of Wands talks of traveling. This could also be good news coming into your life at this time with this energy. The temperance card, I feel for some of you here that you can be more about your sanity. You could be joining the simpler things in life at this time. Um, for some of you, you could be working on yourself with this energy. You have a great level of self-control and patience. So for some of you, you could be planning um, something at this time with this energy and strategizing something with this energy. This is a great time for teachers. For others of you, you could find that your children are dealing or having struggles at school so you could be helping them more or you could be hands-on with like their class projects with this energy as well the wheel of fortune card i feel like you could be receiving some unexpected good news that's gonna bring about i feel like this could be financial relief so this could be dealing with like the irs at this time and getting your irs check with this energy here or you're receiving some kind of financial relief release out relief elsewhere okay so expect some unexpected news with money the queen of cups i feel with this energy here that you need to count your blessings at this time with this energy i feel like this is a beautiful time to delve into prayer consciousness feng shui you know talk to god this week with this energy because i feel like for some of you you need to kind of give certain situations to god or ask god or whoever for answers at this time the lover's card this is a great time for contracts and negotiations you can be reconnecting with people from your past for some of you here if you were crushing on somebody you could hear from them unexpectedly in two weeks for others of you i feel like you could be um you could be receiving some kind of unexpected message you could be reconnecting with the ex at this time with this energy here as well for some of you not all of you with this energy for some of you i see a sexual relationship so this could be a boom bam thank you ma'am situation and they're coming back around for seconds okay i feel like they really put you on a pedestal for others of you some people in your life could be showing their loyalty to you the knight of swords now you see the car is going to freeze the knight of swords this is new love coming in at this time for some of you this a great time for investment opportunities here i feel like i feel like this could be a great time for getting a loan or your partner could be helping you pay your car note at this time or oh excuse me take care of your bills 
at this time with this energy here as well okay the two of wands i feel like it could be very much cerebral and in your head about things um with this energy so be careful with the conversation that you have with your brain okay you are coming up with get rich quick schemes at this time doesn't mean that you'll use them okay for some of you you could be writing you could be having writer's block and taking a writing class, or you could be going on a spiritual retreat at this time. The Three of Swords, I feel like for some of you here, I see a temporary separation. Um, I feel like this could be with like um, love, so I would get, this could be an ex coming back, this could be online dating happening for some of you here with this energy. The Tower card, I feel like you may not be on speaking terms with certain people in your life. For some of you, you could have a nasty falling out with other people in your life as well, and you're going be missed okay i feel like fate could intervene this week with this energy so whatever fate has to bring at this time again unexpected expenditures so be careful with the car this week the car could be breaking down your partner's not, not gonna pick up the phone not gonna text message you because they're working and they're focused on work and that's their excuse okay um so just be careful with that there could be some repairs around the home so this could be dealing with weather okay so be careful with weather at this time for others of you somebody in your life is coming back around so if you were separated from your partner during mercury retrograde because of a breakup they're coming back into your life at this time with this energy okay so i don't feel like it's over between you two i give it two more weeks and you're going to be on speaking terms with them okay i feel for some of you here that this could be also a breakup happening at this time with this energy here and this and this this could be whoever has to leave your life let them leave your life at this time but i feel like it's a good thing it's not a bad thing and i feel like as quickly as this person leaves your life as quickly as a new love relationship comes into your life i feel like you may know who this person is i feel like there's a psychic connection between you you and this other person okay i feel like this is somebody that you dream about and you know who this is i feel like also like when they're on their social media you know when they're posting like psychically you know and stuff like that and you know that they like you and you like them but at the same time it looks like you guys are not talking to each other not communicating with each other but you two are somehow trying to manipulate the other one to reach out first you know oh my lanta just to reach out to them the phone works both ways okay you could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius and this person is socially freaking awkward so just reach out to them because they're scared they're so scared of you all right show your love and support to your girl Marie make sure to like subscribe and share kisses Mwah.